What is up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so yeah, so check it out. I am super excited. I wanted to make this video because I was fortunate enough to get the COVID vaccine yesterday. It's my first dose. So I wanted to make a video and kind of discuss a few things. I've been getting questions and stuff like that. So I was like, why not make a video? So I'm gonna discuss, you know, how I qualified to get the vaccine, what the experiment, uh, what the experience was like, uh, and yeah, how I'm feeling and stuff like that. And if you have any questions, let me know down below. And for all of you loyal subscribers who have been like, hey, where the heck is Chris with new videos? I'm gonna take the last few minutes of this video to give you some updates, all right? So the first thing I wanna talk about before I jump into how I qualified to get the COVID vaccine and the experience and everything like that, I wanna discuss something really, really important. I wanna discuss why I'm making this video, all right? So this, this last year, it's been hell for a lot of people. We've all had to adjust. Um, if you're a parent like me, my son has been doing, you know, school from home, uh, you know, not being able to see his friends and all that kind of stuff. And then for all of us, there's a big mental toll on us, you know, from being isolated and everything like that. And then on top of that, we have millions of people, you know, just in the United States alone who are unemployed and in the United States, we've lost, what, 400,000 people to this virus. There's a good chance that you know someone who has been infected. Um, you might even know someone who passed away. Personally, I've had, you know, uh, people be infected and fortunately, you know, they made it through. And, you know, one of the scariest weeks of my life was a few weeks ago when my mom had a little bit of a COVID scare, but thankfully she tested and it was a false positive. And just a few weeks ago, she was actually able to get her first dose of the vaccine as well out in California. But anyways, why am I making this video? Because we need to get vaccinated, all right? And as, as you know, if you're a loyal rewired soldier, you know that I'm all about psychology and everything like that. So I'm just gonna lay it out for you, all right? so. One of the best, most cited psychologists out there when it comes to persuasion, right? And we think of persuasion like, ooh, manipulative and da-da-da-da-da. No, because sometimes we need to persuade people to get the COVID vaccine so we can hopefully get out of this nightmare of a pandemic. But anyways, this psychologist is named Robert Cialdini, all right? He's a best-selling author. He is cited by all the top psychologists, but he wrote a book on persuasion, all right? And he also wrote a couple other books on the subject, but he's done the most studies on persuasion because he was asking questions like, how do we get people to donate more to charity? How do we get more people to cut back on the amount of electricity they're using and everything like that? Does a ton of experiments, right? So one of the reasons I'm making this video and I encourage all of you to be vocal about getting vaccinated is because one of the main ways per to persuade people is through social influence, all right? So for example, Robert Cialdini, he was trying to see which method got people to lower the amount of electricity that they use. And they, they use these little door hangers with different messages on them. And the one that was the most successful, the one that was most successful was a door hanger that says, hey, the other people in your neighborhood only use this amount of electricity, right? And what happens is people are like, oh, well, I wanna be like them, so I wanna use less electricity, okay? We're a very social species and we look to others to see what the norm is and stuff like that. So the more of us who get vaccinated and we're vocal about it, the more people will get vaccinated. The more people who are on the fence about it will get vaccinated, all right? The science is there and I might do other videos and stuff like that about, you know, the, the misconceptions and the myths about the vaccine and everything, you know, because there's a lot of conspiracies and nonsense going around. And as you know, I like to debunk those things. So think about when you get like the I voted sticker, right? Like even though like people are like, hey, look at me, I voted, right? Like it sends out a signal like, oh, all my friends are voting, maybe I should go vote. Same thing with the vaccinated. So, so once you get vaccinated, like make a post, something like that, because people in your circle, like you, you might not even know it, but people in your circle who see that, they're more likely to get vaccinated, all right? So next, yeah, so how did I qualify to get vaccinated? So as many of you know, you know, I come um, from a background of working in mental health and addiction treatment. And for the last couple of years, I've, you know, switched career paths and everything like that. But I still volunteer 
at mental health treatment centers, rehab facilities, and since those are health facilities, people there are getting vaccinated. So I was very fortunate because one of the things that sucks about the vaccine rollout is a ton, a ton of vaccines are getting thrown away. So something that they're doing uh, out here in Las Vegas is, you know, the community is working together. So when there's that overflow or there's cancellations, like <laughs> so this one actually happened because a lot of people canceled their appointments for, um, for fear of it snowing. It snowed like that much here in Vegas <laughs> for like the first time in 10 years. But people were like, oh my God, I can't drive. So anyways, uh, they had a bunch of openings because people canceled on their vaccine appointments. So they had the overflow um, given to people who volunteer at these places. So I'm very, very fortunate that I was able to do that. Um, so if you volunteer or anything like that at a health facility, that's actually, um, my mom works at a uh, addiction treatment center, so that's how she was included in the first round. Um, but check your local uh, states and everything like that. Like they have uh, different, you know, releases and everything. And I, I really hope that they're trying to do better with how they're rolling out the vaccine. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I got the, the Pfizer one. Um, and I've been trying to follow the news because there's like that new strand of like uh, COVID and everything. And they're trying to see if the current vaccines protect against it. Um, I still need to do some research on the Pfizer one. I heard like, I believe it was the Moderna one is proving good results against the new strand of COVID and everything. So do your research. And when I, when I got there, they said, ask questions. Questions. So like ask questions, always ask questions, whether it's your mental health, your physical health, whatever it is, ask questions. All right. It'll help put your mind at ease. Like one of the things that helps ease our mind more than anything else is just knowledge, right? Educating ourselves. And we, we receive this by asking questions and doing research. So I talked to the nurse and oh my God, let me tell you. Yesterday was like one of the best days in my life. Like I'm in a pretty good mood usually. And uh, this year has been really tough, but I've been trying to stay grateful for the fact that I have a job where I can work from home, you know, that my son's able to do school from home and you know, my girlfriend, she's able to do, uh, you know, college from home and stuff like that. But anyways, like yesterday I was having such a good day. Like I rolled up in there, I had my mask on so you couldn't see, but I was just smiling ear to ear. Like getting vaccinated, it, like after being in this pandemic is such a weight off your shoulders. You know what I mean? Like uh, I still have to go in for my second dose in a few weeks, but just that initial kind of like, uh, you know what I mean? Like we're getting closer. Like there's finally a light at the end of the tunnel, you know? Um, so yeah, so the relief, the ease of mind and anyways, so she asked me like if I wanted to get my left or my right arm and I was, so I'm left handed, but I'm kind of like ambidextrous, I guess. Like I write and I eat with my left hand, everything else was with my right hand. It's weird. But in, <laughs> anyways, I was so excited to get the vaccine. She's like, which arm do you want it in? Which your non-dominant arm? Um, and I was just like, I don't care. And the seat was already facing this way. I'm like, just put it in my left arm. Like just get that freaking vaccine inside me so I sat down and I got it and uh, yeah like they, they were asking like hey you know uh, here's you know some of the potential you know side effects and they said like you know you might get some like numbing or tingling in your arm or you know they're in like very rare cases you know some people have different reactions so after you get vaccinated um, I'm not sure if they do this at all the facilities but they make you wait there for 15 minutes and they have registered nurses there <clears throat> to you know ask more questions or just in case you know what i mean and during the time i was there we were there for about two hours the line was like an hour and a half and then finally it like took two seconds um but i didn't see anybody have any issues i didn't see uh you know anything weird happening or anything like that uh so i got it last night it's been i don't know about 18 hours maybe i don't know and like the only thing is like I can feel it, like some tightness like in my arm, and I think that's just because when you get vaccinated, it like hits you in the muscle, you know what I mean? But nothing crazy, no fatigue, no nothing. I feel awesome, you know? Um, so yeah, stay tuned, uh, check in with your local news, see how it's rolling out. Um, but yeah, we gotta get it because like, just for example, like my son, he lives with his mom and his grandma when he's not over at my place. So he's around someone who's in the high high risk group. Uh, my girlfriend's little brothers, they live with their grandma, you know? So we need to do this, if not to protect ourselves, but to protect 
other people around us. All right, so in a couple weeks, I'm going back to get the second dose. Like I said, if you have any questions um, that I didn't touch on here, like be sure to ask them. Like I'm not a doctor, but I just want to get on here and share my experience. So ask, I'll answer to the best of my ability. And I might do some follow-ups um, when I get like the second dose and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, if you're new, Hope you're subscribed, okay? But now I'm gonna give some channel updates for all the, the loyal rewired soldiers who have been around for a minute, all right? You could be one too, just hit the subscribe button, stick around. All right, so anyway, some of you might be wondering, uh, like, hey, why isn't Chris uploading? Like, those of you who have been around for a while, like, you remember when I was uploading daily, I was uploading two, three times a day, I was on it, all right? And over the last year, you've seen, like, last year I started experimenting with, like, video essays and everything like that, so, in 2021, I'm really focusing on my writing. So I've been working on my new book, um, and I mentioned it in the last video, if you wanna check that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I've been working on my new book, I'm really focusing on my writing. But yeah, I, I just, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the YouTube channel. I feel like I'm all over the place, and like one of the suggestions you always get is to like really focus down. And there's there's just so many things that I'm interested in. Like I, I love learning about things that help me think better, feel better, improve my mental health. You know, uh, I, I just love to learn, and that's why it seems like I could be all over the place, but I don't know if that's like distracting to the audience. Or, like if people come to my channel and they're like, what the hell is this guy's like even topic about, right? So there are definitely, you know, I, I just picked up a bunch of mental health books and I'm really getting back into that subject. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing some mental health content, I don't know. But anyways, one thing that I really just wanted to touch on is like, check it out, if you're not yet, like follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Like I like, we built such an awesome community here and a lot of you, we talk on social media, but I just don't want anybody to think that I like up and disappeared. Um, because I, I'm not, I'm still here. I'm active on social media every single day. It's just that I've been writing and it takes up a lot of my time, so I haven't been doing videos. So I might get in the habit of doing this type of video where I just sit down and talk because it's less editing and less time. Um, but anyways, like if if you ever need to talk or reach out or just wanna say, hey, what's up, whatever, like DM me on social media. My DMs are open on Twitter and Instagram, but yeah, I don't want anybody from the, from the you know community thinking like I'm not anywhere because I'm everywhere. I'm just haven't been around here. Uh, some of you have seen like I've been posting a weekly uh, a weekly reading list. Uh, sometimes I share that on the community tab and everything. But anyways, still trying to figure out what to do with the channel. Um, you can let me know if you have any comments or suggestions down below. Like I said, I just I just love to learn and a lot of different to topics like interest me. So and I, as you know, I read a ton of books. I read like 280 books last year. So. I learn about a lot of cool stuff and I love telling others about it. So anyways, if you have any suggestions, let me know. If you have any questions about my experience with the COVID vaccine, let me know. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. All right, but stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna try to make some more content really soon. Not sure what it's gonna be yet, but make sure that you stay tuned, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. It's easy. All right, and a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel. In any way, you are all amazing. I appreciate you, and I'll see you all next time.